The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 5th of December, 1972, in Ahmedabad, India. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your kindly inviting me this evening to speak something on Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan means eternal, and Dharma also means eternal characteristic. Just like every ingredient element of this world has got a certain type of characteristic. As I have been introduced, I was manager in a chemical factory. So you know that every chemical has got a certain characteristic. Its color, its taste is the renewals in pharmacology and pharmaceutical formulas. Each and every chemical is tested according to that characteristic. That characteristic is called dharma in Sanskrit word. Dharma is not a type of faith as it is explain in English dictionary a kind of faith. Faith you can change. Today you are Hindu, you can become Christian next day. Or today you are Christian, you can become a Mohammedan next day. So political field also changing faith so dharma does not exactly mean a kind of faith. It is characteristic. Just like sugar is sweet, that is the characteristic of sugar. If sugar becomes pungent, then that is not sugar. That is something else. It may be some other thing. Uh, when you go to purchase chili, you must taste it whether it is very strongly pungent. You do not expect chili should be sweet, then it is not very first quality chili. Similarly, we have got characters. We living entity, we are individual living entities, we have got characteristics. That characteristic is service. Our the, all the ladies and gentlemen who are sitting here, uh, if we ask you what is your characteristic, you come to the conclusion that my characteristic is to serve. Somebody is serving in the office, somebody is serving in the government office, somebody is serving as minister, somebody is serving as governor. It is supposed to be that he is master, but actually he is son. In family also, the head of the family, he is thinking that he is master, but he is servant. He is servant of his wife, of his children, even of his paid servant, because he has to satisfy everyone, not only one. But so many members of the family, he has to keep them satisfied. Otherwise, they may not be very much happy. So, the nature of living entity is to satisfy others, for a spot. 
and that business of satisfying other, serving for others well-being, that must be sanātam, eternal. Our characteristic service is eternal, and that should be eternally engagement. Here, in this material existence, I am serving, but my service is not eternal because I am changing the body or I am changing my profession. Sometimes I am serving this party, sometimes I am serving that part. So the conclusion should be that sanātana dharma means that the living entity is eternal. He must seek out his eternal service. That is called sanātana. Sanātana dharma does not mean that he is having a great big tuff and uh, pillow or dressing in a certain manner or that everything has changed. That is not sanātana. Whatever is changeable, that is not sanātana. Sanātana, try to understand, sanātana means eternal. And the living entity being eternal, he must have some eternal engagement. That is called sanātana. Here in the Bhagavad-gītā, the word sanātana has come in many places. In one place, second chapter, Twenty-four verse. It is said, "Akshidoyam, odajoyam, aklidya, asubhushayevacha, nitya sarvagata sanu tachuloyam sanatam, nitya nitya sarvagata sanu achaloyam sanatam." There are many other symptoms of the living entity. They are described in the Bhagavad-gītā very nicely, positively and negatively. In some of the verses, the definition is being given in negation. It is not this. Because with our blunt material eye, we cannot find out where is the soul in this body? Therefore, Krishna is describing the characteristic of the soul in a negative way in several verses. And you know that sometimes it is required, according to logic, that definition by negation. It is not this. I cannot express for the time being a thing what it is. But I can distinguish what it is not. Similarly, at the present moment, everyone is under ignorance. He does not know what is the soul. That is the basic principle of missing point of this material civilization. I talked with many uh, big, big professors in Europe. Most of them, they do not know what is the soul. When I was in Moscow, uh, I had the opportunity of talking with some professors. One of them was very interested, Professor Kotovsky. So he said, Swamiji, after death everything is finished. So. I was simply surprised that a, a responsible professor, teaching staff, he is completely in ignorance about the existence of the soul. So that is the defect of the modern civilization. One who is not perfect in knowledge, he is as a teacher. He is passing on as a teacher. Andhājathāndhai rupaniya mana Stepi satantra urudami badhya. Andha means blind. One blind man, he is trying to help other blind men. 
So what is the use of such advancement of education? If the teacher himself is blind, so what is the use of taking knowledge from him? That is going on. So the effect of the modern civilization is andhāja-thāndhai rūpaniyamāna. Very few men know what is the ultimate goal of life, what is soul, what is God, what is our relationship with God, how we have to lead our life to achieve the ultimate goal of life. These things are very missing. We are trying to follow the same principles of animals. Animals, they are concerned with eating, sleeping, sexual intercourse, and defending. Āhāra nidra bhayamai tunancha samānam etat pasubhi narāna. So they have got these propensities, animals. And we have got the same propensity, saman. We are similar to the animal in the matters of eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. But where, then where is the distinction? Just like animal eating on the floor, we are eating on the chair and table or nicely prepared food stuff. That because we are eating on tables and chairs, we advance. It is the same. Eating means to maintain the body and soul together. So, by advancing in the modes of eating, that does not mean advancement of civilization. Advancement in the modes of sleeping, that does not mean advancement of civilization. Similarly, advancement in the modes of sexual intercourse, it does not mean the advancement of civilization. Or advancement in defending, discovering atomic bombs for killing my enemy, that is also not advancement of civilization. Advancement of civilization means how much you have advanced to know the soul, and the uh, ultimate goal of the soul, how the soul is transmigrating from one body to another. Dehi nasmin jatha dehi kaumāraṁ yogunaṁ jara tatha dehāntaraṁ prāpti dhīras tattva namaiya. The we living entities, we are all soul, living entities. Similarly, God is also a living entity. Nitya nityana chetana chetana nam. He is the supreme living entity. Just like we have got leader in every society, in every country, just like in our country, you have got the president, the chief Indian, or in America, Mr. Nixon, his chief American. Similarly, there must be one chief leader of the whole creation, and that is Krishna. There must be a leader. That is that indication we get from Vedic Kathopanisha. Nitya Nityana, who is God. God means the chief of all living entities. It is not very difficult to understand. Just like in order to manage the whole government, we require a chief man. In order to manage a big establishment, we require a chief man. So why not this cosmic manifestation, the whole cosmic cosmology? Why not a chief person? That you do not know. I still you are passing on as advancement of education. That you do not know. Who is the chief? But we can understand from our Gita. Maya dhaksena prakriti suyate sa characharam hetu dhani na kauntya jagad bhi parivartate. We are big, big scientists, philosophers. We are trying to understand 
the activities of the material nature. We cannot go beyond that. That is also very important. Our understanding of this material nature, how it is working, how things are happening in a systematic way, how the sun is rising in due time, how it is setting. There are so many things we do not know. Just like we are trying to go to the moon planet, but why we are becoming failure, at least up to death. They say that there is no living entity in the moon planet, but here we find in the Bhagavad Gita, nitya sarvagata. The living entity is everywhere. At least we find on this planet, even in deserted place, there are a certain type of vegetable that is living in, sometimes a microbe, sometimes insect. So the statement of Bhagavad Gita is sarvagata. Living entity is everywhere. We practically see in our experience, we find living entities, the aquatics in the water. We find living entities within the earth. There are so many insects. We find living entities in the air. We find living entities on the land, in the sky, and so many places. So this is confirmed. Sarvagata, nitya, the living entity is eternal, and he is everywhere. Sarvagata, sthanu, achuloyam, sanātana, sanātana, concluding sanātana. So this sanātana dharma means that to find out the eternal engagement of the living entity. At the present moment, the living entity is changing the position. As we change our position, even during this life, sometimes I am working in this office, sometimes working in that office, sometimes this way, sometimes that way. Similarly, we are changing eternally. We are creating our desires within the mind, thinking, feeling, and willing. And according to the thinking, feeling, and willing, we are getting a certain type of body one after another. This is the process. Dehi nasmin jatha dehi kaumāraṁ jovanaṁ jara tatha dehāntaraṁ prāpti. Just like in this span of life, I was a child, everyone was. Everyone remembers. Then I became a boy. I was playing. I can remember what I was doing in my childhood, boyhood. Then I became a young man. That also I remember. But those things have passed as dream. Now I am a different condition of life as old man. But I, the spirit soul, I remember that I was a child. I was a baby, I was a boy, I was a young man, now I am old man. So the conclusion should be that although I have changed my body, I remember all these things. So the body and the remembering capacity mean the subtle body, thinking, feeling, and willing. That is called subtle body. We are now encased in two types of body, just like you are encased with sat and coal. Similarly, I or you, living entity, is encased in two types of body. The subtle body is mind, intelligence, and ego, and the gross body is made of five elements, earth, water, air, fire, and ether. These are very nicely explained in the Bhagavad Gita. So actually my position is that I can go everywhere. Just like we are trying, because I have got the desire to go to the moon planet, to the Venus planet, or any other planet, and we are trying. We are scientific knowledge. But because it is gross material, we are not yet successful. But the point is that I have got the desire 
to go to this planet, to that planet, just like we make tour, even on this planet. We want to go this place, that place, that place. So this is natural. Therefore, here it is in Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Sarvadatam. You can go anywhere. Everywhere. There are innumerable universes and there are innumerable planets of different nature. And you can go. Sarvagata, Sanu, Rachulam. So according to the different features, we get just like the aquatics. They have got a different type of body. They can very easily and very pleasingly, they can live within the water. But if you are pushed within the water, you will die, you will suffocate. So by nature's way, there are different types of body. They are going to the moon planet, but to live in the moon planet you require a different type of body. That we get information from Vedic literature. So we get information from Bhagavata. Anyone who is promoted in the moon planet, he gets duration of life for ten thousand of years. Similarly, if you be able to go to the highest planet of this universe, which is called Brahma Loka, then you get your duration of life that is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Sahasra Juga Parjantam Arahajat Brahmano Vidu. Sahasra Juga means one Juga, combination of this Juga, Sata Trita Dhapa and Kali. It forty three hundred thousands of years and multiply it by one thousand. That is the duration of one day in the Brahma Lok. So in different planets you have got different standard of living, you have different standard of duration of life. Just like there is so many distinctions, even on this planet, our standard of living and the standard of living of Europeans and Americans are different. Practically a common man, when he goes to the Western country, from the materialistic point of view, one sees, ah, oh, this is him. So many nice motor cars, so many nice roads, so many nice skyscraper buildings, standard of living, so nice earning money, facility, uh, material happiness. So it may be taken as him, although it is a, the same planet. So we can very easily imagine that from the description of the Shastra that there are different types of planets and different types of standard of living, different types of knowledge, not different types, advancement of knowledge. In this way the, you go higher and higher. There are higher planetary systems. This is called Bhuloka. Above this there is Bhuvaloka. Above that there is Saraloka. Above that there is Janaloka. Above that there is Mahaloka, uh, Satyaloka, and Brahmaloka. Similarly down there are different planetary systems. But we living entities, we are traveling according to our desire, according to our plan. God is everyone's heart. Isara Sarvabhutana Vridesha Arjuna Tishtati. God is staying. He is there as Paramatma. He is so friendly to the living entity. That is that information we get from Vedic literature. That God and the living entity, both of them are sitting on the same tree. The same tree is this body. So within this body, within the heart, I am sitting there and God is sitting there also. So God is simply observing what I am doing, what I am desiring, and He is giving me opportunity. All right, you want to do this, do it, and take experience. And the living entity is enjoying. It is compared with the tree. Because the living entity is enjoying the fruit of the tree, and the other living entity, uh, supreme, 
Paramatma. He is simply witnessing. Witnessing and giving you the result of your fruitive activity. That is called karma. So these things are very subtle matters. And we have got very, very scientific authorized information of this matter. But people have become so degraded. They do not want to take any information of the soul, of the transmigration of the soul, of God, our relationship with God, what is the ultimate goal of life, why you are put into this miserable condition of life. Janma, you may say that I am very happy. I may say I am very happy, but actually there is no happiness. How if there can be happy? Janma, happiness, janma vittu jarabhyadi dukkho dosa anadarsana. Actually, who is in knowledge, he should know where is happiness. I do not wish to die, I am dying. I do not wish to be diseased, I am diseased. I do not wish to become old, I am becoming old. Now where is my happiness? This is called maya. There is no happiness, but still he is thinking that he is in happiness. This is called illusion. So this is just like the animal is an illusion. A hog is eating stool, but he is thinking that I am enjoying. Very nice. He is becoming fat. This is called illusion. You are not happy. Nobody is happy in this material world. Therefore, the inquiry should be that is the Brahma Sutra, that is the Vedanta Sutra, Athata Brahma Jignasa. This human life is for understanding Brahma. Uh, what is that Brahma absolute truth? That is required. If you are simply engaged, animal life, eating, sleeping, mating, then where is the distinction between animal life? There is no such distinction. So this Krishna consciousness movement is very, very important movement. We are trying to educate people to understand his self. Self-realization, God-realization, the duty, the aim of life. What is the aim of life? This is not aim of life. Simply we forget, we forget, forgetful of ourselves, and we are thinking, big, big professors, they are thinking, oh, after finishing this body, everything is finished. No, that is not. Therefore it is stated that uh, sanātaṁ, uh, Sanatana means itāna, and God is also itāna. And there is a place also which is itāna. This place is not itāna. Just like your body is temporary. Similarly, the whole material creation which you have got experience, we have got full experience, whatever little experience we have got, that is also temporary. That is not sanātana. This whole material world is not sanātana, itāna. It is temporary. This body is also temporary. So our knowledge about this body and this world, insufficient knowledge. Therefore, because we are eternal, we must find out an eternal place and we must serve the eternal supreme. That is called sanātana. This is sanātana. So you are teaching that sanātana. So I am very pleased to meet you. You are all select a respectable ladies and gentlemen of this city. So try to understand this moment very seriously and be benefited. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. No, no, but uh, you said that uh, we have to search after the best soul and uh, that is a good service we are taking. But what is the way to do it? What is that we are teaching? You become our student, you will learn. <laughs> it says, what is the actually ultimate object of life? Yes. Peace or knowledge? Uh, is knowledge sufficient to cause peace? Or we must find out some matter, such as someday. Anyway, without knowledge, then peace can be left. Yes. If you have got right knowledge, then you have peace. And because you do not have right knowledge, you do not have peace. Peace is dependent on right knowledge. The right knowledge is, as described in the Bhagavad-gītā, bhoktāraṁ jaggatapasāṁ sarva-lokuma-hissaraṁ. 
श्रीराम सर्वभूताना ज्ञाता मांग शांति मिच्छित दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ अटेनिंग पीस शांति वट इज दैट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट गॉड इज द प्रोपाइटर ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट दैट वी डू नॉट नो वी आर थिंकिंग आई एम द प्रोपाइटर ऑफ एवरीथिंग दिस इज नॉट नॉलेज भोक्तारम जग तम सा He is the supreme proprietor and enjoyer, but mistakenly we are thinking everyone of us thinking that I am the enjoyer. And then other point is, Bhukta Ram Jagat Abhisham Saru Lokmaj. God is the proprietor of all places, all planets, all. But we are thinking, and we Americans we are proprietor of this four sand, Indians we are proprietor of this four sand. But actually, we are not proprietor. I I say to Americans several times that two hundred years ago, you are not proprietor of this land. You came, you migrated from Europe, and now who can say after two hundred years we demand the proprietor? But the land is there. So this temporary proprietorship is also ignorance. भोक्तारम जग तब साम सर्वलोक मय श्री राम सार्वभूता गॉड इज द सुप्रीम फ्रेंड ऑफ एवरी वन ही इज सिटिंग विद इन द हार्ट ही इज ट्राइंग टू एडवाइस मी माय डियर लिविंग एंटिटी यू डू लाइक दिस ये इन भगवद गीता इट इज सेट सर्व सचाहंग हृदय सन्निविष्ट आई एम सिटिंग इन एवरी वन हार्ट मत स्मृति ज्ञान मपोहनच Due to my presence, one can remember, one can forget, forget all. That is due to the super soul. Beda is the sad boy. How many babedyam? By knowledge, beda means knowledge. By advancement of knowledge, one should know what is God. That is perfect knowledge. Otherwise, the eating, sleeping, mating knowledge is there in the animals. This is not knowledge. You must have perfect knowledge, then you will be happy. Then you will be peace. And if you are misguided, bewildered, mad, then how you can be happy? So this knowledge is attained, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhunam Jalmalavanti. After struggling many, many birth after birth, Bhunam Bhunam Jalmalavanti Gyanobam. One who is actually knowledge, one who is wise, ah, man of perfectity, he surrenders sent to me. Basudeva Sarva Meeti Samahatma Sudurlava. When you understand, ah, oh, Basudeva Krishna is everything. That Mahatma is very rare. So if you get perfect knowledge, if you surrender to God, then you will be happy. Otherwise, there is no possibility. You go on struggling. Or is that? Is there any proper method to contact Atma or self-contact? Yes, Atma is there. Any method of contacting it? Yes. Therefore, your material method is imperfect to detect where is the soul. The soul is there, and the dimension is also there. One ten thousand part. Are the tip of your hair, so you have no eyes to see, but soul is there. That is evident. But as soon as the soul is gone, this body, this beautiful body, is a dead lump of matter. That distinction is there. Therefore, we have to hear from the authority. What is that soul? Therefore, Krishna is describing. First of all, he said that there is soul within this body. देहिनस्मिन जथा देह देहिनस्मिन जथा देहे को मार जो बिकॉज द सोल इज देयर देयर फॉर वी आर चेंज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉडी एज इट लाइक बिकॉज यू आर लिविंग देयर फॉर देयर इज कोट एंड शार्ट बट इफ यू आर नॉट लिविंग वट इज यूज ऑफ दिस कोट एंड शार्ट देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ कोट एंड शार्ट सिमिलरली बिकॉज द सोल इज देयर देयर फॉर द बॉडी एज डेवलप According to the desire of the soul, but it is very, very minute. 
how without these blunt eyes and blunt senses we cannot catch it. But there is, we have to conceive it from the authoritative statement of higher knowledgeable person. Uh, just like we are trying to learn from the Bhagavad Gita as it is, it is being taught by Krishna. So things which are beyond your perception, you have to know it from authority. Just like the example, who is my father? We cannot make any experiment. We cannot apply experimental knowledge to find out who is my father. That is not possible. But how we can know? They know it. I can know from the authority of the mother. The mother says, this gentleman is your father. We have to accept. There is no other experimental. Similarly, the soul, which is beyond the perception of your material senses, you cannot make an experiment. You have no means. But you try to perceive that what is that thing missing that now the body is dead. Now there is something. What is that something that you have to learn from the authority? Krishna. Dehi nasmin jatha dehi. There is a dehi. There is a proprietor of this body. And he is changing from one body to another. This you have to understand from the authority. From experimental, you have not learnt it, never you will be able to learn it. No, not the scientists can discover. If they could discover, then no man would die. The medical science, if, if, if it could discover. So there are so many anomalies. Therefore you have to learn it only from the authority. And there is no other way. Suti pramana. Suti pramana means evidence from the Vedic knowledge. There is no other way. Now, does it mean that the initiative from the human being is completely surrendered to the Almighty God? And if it is surrendered, is there any, is there any initiative left to the human being? Yes. Because without we, our present position, is to defy the existence of God. This is our present position, material life. There is no God. God is there. I am God. You are God. This is defined, the authority of God. Therefore, to understand God, you have to surrender. Otherwise, it is not possible. You cannot defy and at the same time understand God. That is not possible. Nahang prakasa sarvasya yuga maya samabhita. You cannot understand God by challenging. Why God? Suppose he, we, we go to the president of our country if I challenge. Mr. President, what is your value? Can you tell me what you are? You cannot know? No. You have to surrender. You have to become friendly and serve him, please him. Then you will understand. Sevan Mukhi, he jivadu, Sayame was Puratkada. He cannot challenge. Just like the sun is not visible at night. If you challenge, oh, sun, can you show me where you are? No. You have to wait for his mercy. In the morning you will see. This is the process. Sir, my question still remains unanswered. Has it been human being surrendered completely? Yes. Now the initiative is completely taken away from the human being. Yes. How is the human being going to continue in this world if it has to exist? And if the initiative is not left to the human being, as you say, the God is there and God has to be accepted. But my father, his father, his great grandfather, everyone says that the God exists. I will be also telling my son and his son and his son. This is, this is passing on that there is existence of God from mouth to mouth. And now because there is a word like God, do we blindly surrender to Him an identity which human being has not seen? No, no. no one on the world, in the world has seen that there is God. Uh, you, you cannot say that no one has seen. You have not seen. I have not seen. Yeah, I have that, seen. That's not. But there may be you cannot say others. No, no, first of all you should withdraw. You have not seen. But you cannot say others have not seen. I have not seen that's all. That's all right. Yeah. Then you have to learn how to see. But then, then you have to learn how to see. 
You cannot see. You remain ignorant, fool, and you want to see God. You have to learn how to see God. But then, sir, do we, do we... First of all, you take this, that you do not know what is God. Now you want to see God. Therefore, you have to learn how to see God. Sir, I, I presume right from the beginning that the human being surrenders to God. That is the first principle. That is the first principle. How is the initiative left to the human being? I, I that we are teaching. We are teaching. This Krishna consciousness movement is that you surrender to Krishna. Just like Krishna says, you surrender unto me. That is Krishna's verse. Our version is, you surrender to Krishna. Therefore, there is no difference between the versions. But he says that why should that surrender should be? Uh-huh. That we know that we, we are God, we are also ourselves. Because you, are, sir, 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 because you are becoming old and you do not want to become old, therefore to save yourself, not to become old, you have to surrender. Every religion will say that you surrender unto God. Either Krishna consciousness or Christianity or Mohammedan. Uh, what is the same? But uh, we are teaching the same thing, uh, but in a very easiest process. That is our trade. But how long we have to surrender? So long you do not die. <laughs> The then why are you asking question? If you have got the knowledge, then why are you asking? Yamuna Tira 